Okay, everybody, uh, this is going to be the last event for 2019 and it's happening on Boxing Day. So we have launched with a scene maybe on the American site and the Australian site, the Array Headlight. This is an upgrade to the HS2, which I use personally at home and just for bits and bobs around the house. I'm working out in the dark. Um, so this is an upgrade to the HS2. Uh, ideal for people who are out running. I'm not built as a runner but um, I use it in a lot of other tasks around the house or out with the dogs, things like that there. Or even just to have an emergency car kit, wild camping, hiking, stuff like that, search and rescue as well. People working in confined spaces, all that there. We have this on offer for you for Boxing Day. So the offers are gonna be up to 40% off. You can get the Array Light. Now in the single one, is going to be 44 pound and 14 pence, or you can pair it up with the i1R Mark II, and that's going to be 46 pound and 14 pence. Now that i1R Mark II includes the micro USB lead, so for a, literally a two pound extra, you can get the uh, bundle option. Which, if you want a crack and wee keyring light as well, go for the bundle option. But what we're going to do is going to unbox the array headlight here with you now show you what you get inside the box and give you a wee bit of a demo so stick with me okay so the array uh, light up run free what we're going to do is just go over the box and show you what you get inside this comes with a two-year warranty not our normal five-year warranty on this particular light and you can see the um, specs here just to give you a wee run through you can pause that and read that when you want Maximum output on this is 400 lumens and runtime 13 hours in total with an 80 meter throw. Now this is IPX4 waterproof rating, not again, not our usual IPX7 and 8. That's because of the um, materials used for building. Uh, it's not your usual aluminium for the a torch body. This is to keep the weight down and uh, also it just keeps the very light weight on the head. But that's cracking me torch and say 80 meter throw and you can see your candela ratings size and weights there with the battery pack so let's crack it open um, you guys would have noticed before the larger uh, box so the small wee battery boxes that you used to get in like so the h1 this is a far bigger one now so you can use this box for your headlight or personalize it to whatever you want but you get quite a lot inside. You get your instruction manual. You get a couple of extra clips and some Velcro, which will go for the cable management around the light. And then inside the box itself, you have the torch, which we'll get to. And you have the, a nice long cable. So this is the MCC 1A cable, but it's very long. So it doesn't need to be the MCC3 cable, but very handy to have a really long charge lead. Great to see that one inside it. So you could have this say on a helmet um, and have that charging in as a work helmet or for search and rescue, coast guard, whatever, and have that available. So Finish off the box, you have a nice pouch in there to put some documents in or whatever you want to put in, spare batteries, whatever. A nice area here. Could be a good one for just a wee EDC pouch as well to have um, something for your bag. Keep whatever you want on it. But um, there you are, nice solid case for that. So a bigger one than our standard case. So on the torch itself, uh, what we're gonna do is we'll go over it in more detail. But having a look around the outside, you can see the head strap with reflective bands on here. We'll get to the power bit in a minute. And you can see the LEDs there on it. So basically to connect this up, very, very simple, is you can just plug it in. It's a micro USB, so plug that in tight and then put this uh, metal retaining band over and just click it down onto the cable. That will ensure that this will not uh, accidentally unplug. So let's go over the torch in a wee bit more detail. 
Okay, so we're gonna have a look at the headband and the torch and the LEDs here on it. So uh, this one on the right is going to be your more throw LED and then the one on the left is going to be more of your area LED. You can switch between a low and a high output and uh, so you'll get lots of runtime, say up to 13 hours runtime on this. So we're going to go through uh, some of the settings as well. On the side here you can then see your power button. Um, you can flip that over the other side, I just, I'm a lefty force of habit I put it on the left hand side but if you want to flip it onto the right hand side you can do just chuck the torch upside down and uh, the power button symbol will all be upside down but does that really matter no you can see the retaining um, buckle here from going from the micro USB lead um, connected to the battery pack and then this here sort of closes over just to make sure that there is no way that this can inadvertently unplug. And you can just say, pop that off and then disconnect from the battery pack, okay? You could um, say, leave it like that there in the box if you wish, or just have it left on there. You could use that as your lock lockout feature as well if you don't want the torch connected and maybe inadvertently turning on. Um, you can just disconnect the battery pack from there. Reflective straps uh, on the side and then around the back we're going to go over the um, battery pack. So in the battery pack it's a 2000 milliamp battery pack and this will also be your battery indicator. So uh, very very easy to charge it with the included charge cable. Nice long cable and simply just connecting it on to charge it. Put that on uh, your lid if you're using it for a search and rescue, if you're using it as a work helmet, whatever you're using, if you're a plumber, electrician, whatever, and you have to have a work helmet on. It's good to be able to have that connected and nice long charge lead. Bearing in mind on the uh, actual charge lead, it's gonna go red when it's charging, green when it's fully charged. So that is your charge lead. Now we're gonna show you your battery indicator. So when you single press it on, you'll see all the lights have went around. So this is fully charged and they will just dim out. Now the torch has started uh, with your rear red LED and it goes into just a pattern. This makes you visible um, from behind. Uh, in low light conditions and at night time. If you're using this as a running light, then you have a rear red light. A uh, lot of runners around where we are and uh, I very rarely even see them with a torch on their head, but um, the ones that do, don't have any sort of rear red LED, which is just helps you to be seen. Uh, what also happens is when you turn this off, so the headlight is actually off, this will just continue in a sequence for roughly 10 to 15 seconds and then it will completely uh, turn off. So you'll see that happening any second now. So that's it off. Um, but that's very handy to be able just to turn that on and go, right, I'm full. And then that will just go down so you'll be able to, to go through your battery indicator there, no problem at all. Okay, so what we're gonna do is gonna show you the light now, okay? So let's go through the modes. Very simple, single press on and off, okay? So that's it, on, single press off. Very, very simple. And uh, if you want to change between the low and uh, the high, or for like the more throw light and the more area light, if you just double press, then that will just have that one LED on. So you can see I've only got one on now. So just cycle through that and then you can just press and hold to switch between low and high. There's high, low. All right. Same again, if you want to switch then that's the more area light and then press and hold, you get a high and a low of it as well. All right. And then for SOS, triple tap and then you have your SOS feature. So we can see SOS, but you still have on the back, you still have the red LEDs going on the back as well. 
but that is your SOS feature. And then you can just single press off. Now SOS is not remembered, so um, it just remembers on the last setting that you have there. So SOS isn't remembered, but um, I quite like it. And to be able to go from them two LEDs down to one, and then say low and high. Very, very simple to use. It's a nice um, size of LED as well. It's very nice just for something small and compact. But if you're not looking a massive headlight, if you don't need a headlight, if you're concerned about size and weight, then um, the Array, very nice one to go for. Give a look at the other side, get into some branding and uh, the reflective and bits on the side so you can adjust that there to whatever you want so it fits your head uh, but i do like the battery pack it is a bit smaller than the hs2 i have a hs2 here so i can see it is a physically smaller battery pack than the hs2 okay and then say the hs2 you would have had to have your uh, battery pack but if it charged up, you'll be able to see your um, battery indicator here. And so you're charged by micro USB. You don't have the retaining strap like you had before. You don't have that. And so similar looking LED on it. But say so this one works out very nicely with this uh, clip here, whatever you want to call it. That um, will just keep that there connected on. So if you are pushing and pulling with the head strap, this is gonna inadvertently pop off when you have that in place. But it's a nice wee light, very nice weight. High speed, low drag. And uh, that's gonna work out quite well for you. So that's on for Boxing Day. So you can check that out. Uh, Boxing Day is gonna be up to 40% off. Say so prices on that, if you only want the torch by itself, it's going to be uh, 44 pound and 14 pence. If you want the bundle, which is gonna include the i1R Mark II plus the USB cable, then it's 46 pound 14. So there you are, there's not, um, it's a no brainer really. Get the, get the bundle option, then you get another key ring light, which is pretty cool. So that's the array. Um, I'm gonna be using that there for a headlight for the car. Um, so I do have, um, I can EDC uh, my normal torches on me, like I had the Perrin EDCing it um, as just a normal torch, which is pretty cool. Um, but I haven't a designated headlight for the car. So I think this one's going to be a designated headlight for the car. Um, also, I didn't have a designated light uh, for the dogs even. So if you're running dogs or if you're out working on animals, then to have a nice headlight there. Or look here, if you're a mechanic and you want to be able to have somewhere to have a, a light handy for being a mechanic, if you're an electrician, if you're a spark, if whatever you're working at, gas engineers, all that sort of stuff need a good headlight. Then this one will work out really well for you. And say, well, the specs on that, uh, just to give you an idea. So on mode one, that's the maximum output, 400 lumens. You're gonna get two and a half hours. There's no drop down on this. It's two and a half hours and then it's done. The uh, Mo2 is 200 lumens. And again, that is, that'll be the one LED going. That's four and a half hours. Again, no drop down. Mode three, which would be uh, 100 lumens. That is six hours, uh, six and a half hours. Mode four which is the uh, small LED and on the low mode, is going to be uh, 50 lumens and it's gonna be uh, 13 hours. So that's gonna be on that setting. That's the lowest one. And you get 13 hours out of that. So it's pretty cool just to be able to um, go high low. So that's gonna be, that's the high mode. So that there's the 300 or sorry, Mode three, 100 lumens, that's six and a half hours, no drop down. That's the 13 hour one at 50 lumens. And then you have the high, that's your 400 lumens, which is gonna be two and a half hours. And there's your low, which is the 200 lumens at four and a half hours. 
So it's really self-explanatory for the headlight and for what it's going to be and what it's going to do. Um, I really like it. I think it's going to be a nice one to have. I do like the red LEDs at the back. I think it's very easy for charging as well. I have an L dock in the car, so I'm just going to slap that on the L dock and work away. So I think that's really nice to have. So that's going to be Boxing Day. Uh, going to be a 24 hour event. These will ship out after Christmas, guys. So uh, please bear in mind with that after Christmas. More than likely, they will ship out on the 30th. So please bear that in mind when you're placing your order. Okay, so guys, thank you very much. Hopefully you had a fantastic Christmas. And uh, look, if you missed out on getting a present, share them this link and say, Oi, then get me this unboxing day. Olightstore.uk Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Okay, everybody, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell notification so you'll be up to date on all the videos that we release here at Olight UK. And feel free to pick a video to watch next, somewhere around here.